Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. So check this out. Earlier today, FS1, Skip and Shannon undisputed. Shannon Sharp, he slipped. He slipped. Let me tell you why he slipped. He slipped because he proved me right. So this is what I tell you. I've been telling y'all this for six years now. I'm always right. Whether I'm right in the present, whether I was right in the past, or I will be right in the future. I'm always right. Now, I told y'all, the media don't know what the fuck they talking about when it comes to the New York football giants. How many times I have to tell y'all this? Don't listen to them. You listen to me. You come to Fist Vegas Blue, you listen to me. Don't listen to the media. The media don't know what the hell they talking about. Okay? I told y'all the same thing on the Colin Cowher video. When they talk about Daniel Jones, or they talk about the, the Kadarius Tony situations and shit, they don't know what they talking about. They don't pay us any attention. The Giants have been a train wreck for years. You think they watch the Giants games? Do you really think these national media analysts you see on t television or take a time out their day to go back and watch Giants film? No. They see a headline and they, 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 they talk about what's hot. They follow the trend. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to the Giants. So, Fizz Vegas, what are you talking about? Why are you talking about this instead of Kenny Galladay? Because every other Giants content creator got a thing or two to say about Galladay. I'll give my Galladay take another day. We got two weeks before the season start. Shannon Sharp really came out and said that Tyrod Taylor had been outperforming Daniel Jones. And Tyrod Taylor was going to take the starting job before training camp started. Huh? So before Tyler Taylor. Yeah. Tyler Taylor. Before Taylor the fuck is his name the tyrod okay there we go he not important i'm sorry tyrod you you really not important i don't, don't got to get your fucking name right okay so before tyrod taylor got hurt allegedly shannon sharp says that daniel jones was going to lose his starting spot to him what world when in every preseason game daniel jones has looked better than tyrod and what world was daniel jones ever going to lose his starting spot to tyrod taylor when where the preseason game at? Where's the performance at? I wait. He don't watch the team. He doesn't watch the team. He goes in his rant about Daniel Jones being trash and why will Odell Beckham Jr. want to return to the Giants. And not once does he bring up Kenny Galladay, who we're paying a shitload of money to. Not once does he bring up the young Kadarius Tony, Wandale Robinson, Sterling Shepard coming back. Not once does he mention anybody else on the roster. He don't even mention the coaching staff. All he says is Daniel Jones is trash. Tyrod Ty 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 Taylor was going to beat him out. That's his only critique. That's it. That, that, that was the sum of his analysis. And then, oh, and by the way, he he, he didn't even know Eli Manning retired. He was like, Eli Manning ain't there no more. No, why are you going like, shut up, bro. And then Sh Skip Bayless on the other side, who's a Cowboy fan. The topic is supposed to be about Daniel Jones. I'm sorry. Odell Beckham Jr. going back to the Giants. You know Skip Bayless went and talked for 10 minutes and didn't mention any player on the Giants? Not a one. Go back and watch the segment. All he talked about was Daniel Jones never arrived. Daniel Jones has never been good. And after he said that, he proceeded to talk about the Rams. You don't know what you're talking about. Odell Beckham is a free agent. Who's, who's teasing the Giants. And this is what I've been trying to tell y'all. Don't listen to these people on television because they don't cover the team. They don't know what the hell they're talking about at all. Every single time you hear people on the national television talk about the Giants, with the exception of Good Morning Football because they're based out of New York. If you watch Good Morning Football on NFL Network, Kyle Bandit and Shreds and those guys like that, you, their takes on the New York teams are a little bit different because they're in New York. But the rest of these guys, forget about it. Whether even Stephen A. Smith, I know they're in New York, but Stephen A. Smith don't know what the hell he talk about with the Giants. I mean, it's just, why do y'all listen to them? For what? Every time the national media talks about the Giants, is Daniel Jones is a bum because he throw a ball out of bounds. He literally threw the ball away because Kenny Galladay was lazy on the route, which I'm going to talk about Galladay probably after the, after the Darius Slayton trade.
So after Darius Slayton gets traded a cut tomorrow, I'll speak on Galladay. So tomorrow will be a Darius Slayton video. That'll be Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll give my thoughts on uh, Kenny Galladay. But the point I'm trying to make to you Giants fans is whether it's Colin Cowherd ripping Daniel Jones and saying that Brian Dable will, is going to fail because Daniel Jones is his quarterback, or whether it's Shannon Sharp not knowing the New York football Giants roster and saying Daniel Jones is going to lose to Tyrod Taylor. Like, this is why you don't listen to the national media when it comes to the Giants. This is why. Because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're not watching the team. You know who they're watching? Oh, let me go. They're watching Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. They're watching the Cowboys because, God forbid, you don't do a Cowboys sex segment on national TV. They're not watching the Giants. So why the hell are you listening to them? If they speak on the Giants, ignore them. Turn the television. Mute the bitch. It doesn't matter because they don't know what they're talking about. And it's not just the Giants. I'm speaking for all the other poverty franchises. I'm talking about, let me see, the Lions. You think they're watching a Detroit Lion game? Like, come on now. <laughs> uh, let's keep it a buck fifty here. What are we really talking about? You think anybody's going to be watching a Seattle Seahawks game? You think anybody was watching a fucking Broncos before Russell Wilson got there when Drew Locke was quarterback? Like, don't listen to these people when it comes to these teams that aren't winning their job is to watch winning teams and report on winning teams. Now, maybe if the Giants are in the playoffs and they actually start getting national media coverage on a regular basis, then maybe they'll probably try and watch the team. But for the past couple years, or going into training camp, they don't give a damn about the Giants. They don't know who the hell is going on. They can't name our starting right guard. They can't name the opposite defensive end from Leonard Williams. They can't name who's playing safety next to motherfucking Xavier McKinney. They don't know who our top four wide receivers are. They don't know. So don't give them any credibility. Don't pay them any attention. Fuck them. Straight like that. Got these idiots on national TV talking bad about Daniel Jones. And they don't even watch him play. They don't know nothing about Daniel Jones. They just throw him under the bus for no reason. I let it go when he had to overthrow. I let it go. Because I was busy airing out the Antichrist. So I let I, I was doing other shit during the, 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 the viral Daniel Jones video. But it's every single time the Giants on national television... It's got to be something negative about Daniel Jones. It's got to be something negative about the team. Joe Judge making the team run laps. John Mara giving out sodas. Daniel Jones throwing a ball out of bounds because Kenny Galladay lazy ass ain't running the route right. What the fuck? They don't love us. They don't like us. They don't care about us. Giants fans, they get here to divide us. They get here to conquer us. They want to see us defeated. They want to see us down and out. And they want to see us miserable. They want to laugh at us. They want us to be the butt of all jokes. They don't want Daniel Jones to prosper. They don't want David to prosper. They don't want Shane to prosper. They want to see us fucked up. So fuck them. Listen to me. Don't listen to them. I'm here for you. That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.